So this is probably a case of a myelodysplastic syndrome, MDS. We have discussed it so many times. Clinically, MDS is going to occur in elderly men, more than 50, 60 years, and most of the patients will be males. And they're going to present with macrocytic anemia. That's very, very characteristic. And you're going to see a few blasts with dysplastic cells in the peripheral smear and the bone marrow. But the blast will be definitely less than 20%. If it's more than 20%, you're going to call it as acute leukemia. But here it's going to be a few sprinkled blasts here and there. That's very common. And what you're seeing in the peripheral smear though? In the peripheral smear, you're seeing abnormal cells. Like what you're seeing here is a mononuclear neutrophil, which is clearly abnormal. You can see a lot of variety of other abnormal cells as well. So this is definitely a case of myelodysplastic syndrome. And the first line treatment for MDS is supportive. You can use azacitidine and desetabine, DNMT blockers, as a supportive treatment, which can improve the symptoms to some extent. And of course, in 5Q deletion patients especially, you can use a drug called lenalidomide. That's kind of best in patients with uh, 5Q deletion syndrome. But the definitive treatment is going to be allogenic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. So option C is definitely wrong. Allogenic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation is not contraindicated, right? So rather than it's going to be the ultimate definitive or curative option for this patient. So right answer for this question is option C. Why not A? Children with Down syndrome are at risk of developing this condition. Absolutely true. They can develop a transient myeloproliferative disorder in the first year of life. Apart from that, they are at risk of developing AML M7, that is acute megakaryocytic leukemia, and they are at risk of developing ALL as well. In the first five years, usually they will develop AML M7. After five years, uh, they might develop ALL. But the most common cancer in Down syndrome is ALL, though you need to know that. So they can develop MDS. And as I said, it in, can improve cytopenias and prolonged survival. I told you the answer is yes for that. And 5Q duration alone, the treatment of choice is lenalidomide. But otherwise, we're going to use the DNMT blockers like azacitidine or tacitamine. Higher percentage of blasts in the bone marrow is associated with poor prognosis. And that's absolutely true. This is not only true for uh, MDS patients. It's true for any condition. Seeing blasts in the blood or in the bone marrow is not at all good. The more the percentage of blasts, higher is the risk of worsening and death. So right answer for this question is option C. A bit of tough question, but still.